I don't think good information and inspiration goes out of date. But if you, you know, you, I always said, you know, I can plant a tree this way. If I find a better way to plant a tree, I'm going to find it first and I'm going to write about it and I'll eliminate the old and bring in the new. And I do that with everything. It's the same way with cooking. Uh, recipes change, methods change, pots change. We didn't have an Instapot when I started writing books. Now there's Instapots and they're very popular and more people want to cook in an Instapot than, or a pressure pot. So we wrote a book about how to cook in a pressure pot and it's very popular. The recipes are utterly delicious and we adapt our, our methods of teaching to technology. We have to, we have to keep up as you say. Uh, all about informing yourself so that you can be a good teacher. I cry, but I don't cry in business. You don't cry in business? No. I don't think business is worth crying over. I think you have to, again, uh, concentrate on business. Uh, you can build your business. You can help others build businesses. And, and it's business. It's not about emotion. It's about really going for it. You can be passionate. That's that's the only emotion I allow in my business. Working hard and have and making money for your hard work. That was another thing that I also discovered as an entrepreneur that oh it's all well and good to work really hard, but you must be compensated for your hard work. 
and not be greedy about it, but be compensated fairly. And that when you look at the end of the month that you actually have some money in the bank that you could invest or reinvest in your business, uh, that you have actually succeeded in being a good business person as well. And you can pay your, um, you can really um, actually see that a business is forming.